What is good, y'all? Shanti Smooth again. Coach Smooth back at it again, man. Ready to continue this Saints rebuild. Now, as of last time out, y'all saw we were able to get a hang of the dub. Uh, Josh's first one of his career. But we're going to continue on the season, see how it goes. I think it might be, you know, a very good first game. We're going to hope that we hold out through the rest of the season. But I don't know. I don't know. We do got a breakout player chance. Let's go ahead and see who that's for. Uh, maybe Josh, after the way he played. Marshawn Lattimore. He did get two picks last week uh, in the very first game of the season. So 100 passing yards or less, three plus force turnovers, three INTs, tackle for loss, or a sack. Now here, we will kind of get everybody's uh, scouting focus, which I think I want to go ahead and keep them where they are. Uh, I think scouting focus, wait. Scouting focus, receivers, left tackles, middle linebacker, type. Hold on, what? Oh, I'm Oh, okay, I got to pick what position that they're going to focus on. I'm like, hold on, that is not what I wanted them to do. All right, give me one second. All right, now we went in and gave everything set up. We got our Southeast uh, focus on quarterbacks, like you should. There's two of the, or three of the top five players are in that area. Like we said, all five top five players this year are quarterbacks, and three of them are in the Southeast. So we want to go ahead and definitely get those scouted up. Um, in the Northeast, we got him doing halfbacks. Central, we got him doing strong safeties. And West, we got him doing right ends. Over left, just because our right end uh, is the one that actually has a contract by the end, even though Cameron Jordan is getting older, he's at least still on contract for, for one or two more seasons. Uh, we don't get to do the national scout just yet, but he will be put on receivers when he does get there. 10% efficiency boost when scouting receivers, so I need that. All right, with all out the way and the fact that we got a big player chance, Arizona's one to know, we're one to know. So I think we should go ahead and hop in this game and see if we can go ahead and get Marshawn uh, Lattimore, the superstar X Factor. Starting the day on offense, we're going to have more of an emphasis on defense as we start to see if Marshawn Lattimore can get his goal. But we still got to see if this offense got what it takes. We got a rookie over there starting at QB and already going out to Marquez Callaway. I want to see us drive and get a touchdown. There's a lot of bodies up there on that front line. Looks like they faked a little blitz. Garland getting out of the pocket. Looks like he's going to take off. Great tackle there made by the Cardinals, but a nice gain of three. Better than taking a sack. So, I like that he's showing some mental toughness to go ahead and get out of the pocket, move around, make plays happen. That's what I want to see. It's going to be what it takes to get a dub here. Look, there he goes again. Out of the pocket. Stiff. Oh, my gosh. Coach Smooth, how you make your quarterback so strong? We get in the weight room. We in the weight room. We eat that weight. Let me know when y'all drop the rookie quarterback. That mush the linebacker up out of his weight, bro. This, I did not expect him to be this mobile, honestly. So I'm really happy with what he looked. There he goes again, out of the pocket running. J.J. Watt tackling him down. You ain't going to stiff arm that man. All right, as much fun as running has been, <laughs> Josh, it's time to throw the ball. Uh, I need you to throw to your receivers. Second and 15. Okay, hand off to AK. That's not that bad of an idea, but I need to throw to Watt. You can see on the furthest inside, looks like we got three to the bottom of the screen. Throw will go out quick to the inside, and that is Traquan Smith getting the catch and getting down. Actually skipped one play too many. So it was just incomplete pass thrown away. But it does look like um, Harris is out for the game with just a little injury. So he would just miss today. Just a little practice injury. I think it's like a PCL sprain or something like that. So uh, we'll probably see, we'll see, definitely see a lot more Callaway than today in our three receiver sets, which I'm excited to see what he can go ahead and do. Being one of our focus players. But today we're looking at that man, Marshawn Lattimore. Can he lock up? Can we hold him to under 100 yards passing? That's not a good. First sign, I need to see you come up and get some interceptions, man. Keeping Kyler Murray from getting loose, getting busy. Something that we see him do too far in the NFL, and that's why the Cardinals are so great right now. There you go. Uh, run game on lock. There you go, Davis. Run game on lock. Love it. Fly up the middle of this field, man. There you go. He's out of the pocket. He's moving again. Somebody come up and get him. He only needs eight yards. Where are y'all at? Somebody got to come and make this tackle. Somebody got to be on alert, bro. QB spy. He's like, those can kill a defense. When you finally get him on third and long. The quarterback's able to just run for the first down. Look, there he goes out of the pocket again. We got somebody watching this time, though. There we go. 
come up and make the tackle. I love it, Michael Jenkins. Second and 11, they'll be credited with a sack. They try to get a screen out and moving. Demar Davis was there, forcing him to slow down a little bit. We we're able to go and get the tackle CJ in there to take him down. Going to the pistol, and we are using the offense, so it's basically, you know, Arizona against Arizona here as far as the offense goes. So our defense should know how to handle this. We practice against this all the time, just regular. Come on, y'all. James Conner ain't that good. I want to see Marshawn Lattimore make a play already, bro. Right? I want to see a pick. Uh, who's supposed to be covering the running back? Who let the running back go out in the flats? Marshawn Lattimore. If we were in cover three, that's you. You, I'm giving you chances to be great. You just ain't taking advantage of it. Throw goes out quick. Look, that could have been a yip. But you're slow. Flat-footed. 11 yards away from pay dirt. Throw to the back corner, and that is an easy touchdown given up by Marcus Williams. Coming up to the booth, like I said, we're going to focus a little bit more on defense today. So let's go ahead and get up here in the booth, see what the offense can do for themselves. Drop pass by MT is not going to help your rookie quarterback out. But I love the fact that he's going to Michael Thomas today. Didn't see too much of him in uh, game one. Got his catches a little bit, but not all the way there. And now we get to go ahead and see what this defense does after a three and out. Now we're not going to watch every defensive series, of course. But I do want to see a little bit of this. See if we can see if he gets a pick. There you go. Throw out right to you. Okay, CJ. Somebody's hungry for that pick. Come on, take that to the crib. Take it to the crib. Oh, we got to see if we score off this. CJ uh, Gardner Johnson getting the pick right there. Getting us up to the eight-yard line. Could have been Marshawn Lattimore's, but look at this. Nice throw out. Got three bodies over there. Somebody other than them got to come away with it. Don't do it, Josh. We gave you great field position. Let's see if let's see he's getting in the end zone. Great field. Oh, yeah. There you go. Take it. Okay. Oh, I like it. The fake run to the touchdown. gonna be the last one we watch for a little bit then we go get into some deep simulator but i can't believe he faked the run dropped back past the great iq and then that was kawan baker's first ever catch for a touchdown to tie up the game here against arizona you couldn't script things any better finally see some time on the field in the first play he gets he scores a touchdown magnificent now let's go back to watching this defense work a little bit they, they're getting risky with these slants now we just picked one i don't want to see you do x factor things my g You've been playing decent coverage. They're going to run up the middle. Ah, we allow James Conner to get just enough for the first down. There you go, Tim Settle. Stop skipping, though. They scored. They got a first down. We can't be happy skipping, and they coach happy clapping. Like, somebody wrong in this, in this situation of happiness. Oh, throw out quick. Come on. Oh, Lattimore. If he just had a quicker reaction time, these could be interceptions. That could have been his second of the day. He could be one more away from getting the X Factor. Go, drop back. Ah, okay. There we go. Don't let him push you back. Settle almost got ran over. If DeMar Davis hadn't been there, because, you know, he hit the weight room. We need to get uh, Settle in that weight room, too. Obviously, somebody been lacking right over the middle. What are y'all doing? Malcolm Jenkins is running after the running back while somebody's sitting right in his face. Drop back. Looking at, okay, yeah. Don't get fall. Don't fall for it twice. Great sack there, Marcus Davenport. First of the game. I need to see a little bit more pressure. I feel like we ain't saw that much pressure today, man. I need to see y'all getting that backfield. Sack lunch. Come on now, get back there. All y'all getting hemmed up. Somebody come up to stop the quarterback. Man, Marcus Williams was standing there looking at him like, uh, he's not going to run. Oh, crap, he's running. Like, what, what else you thought was about to happen? He was about to just look at you the whole time and just stand there. Throw goes out quick to the flat. There you go, Michael Jenkins. Get over there quick, close out. I don't know who was supposed to be covering the flat, but maybe they had something deep. Maybe they ran like a flood concept or something. All right, back up here into the booth, man. Let's go ahead and see what things happen. 51-yard field goal ended up being good by them. And let's see if we can come back and try to take this lead. Oh, my goodness. What is that? Okay, penalty against us. Let's keep moving. Okay, there we go. Big play. Who is that? Marquez Callaway. Everybody's showing out today. Our receivers are showing they strong. They're like, Coach, please, don't replace one of us. Don't go draft a receiver. Well, sorry, we don't got the cap space. I don't even know if I can sign y'all. That it ain't even about replacing because y'all suck. It's replacing because, ah, Josh Garland, did you forget that the top five players in this draft are quarterbacks? You could be getting replaced. Second and seven here. They're still moving. We're under the two minute warning. Can our defense hold them from scoring a touchdown? Ah, let's go defense. 11 yards away. Time is ticking though. 
Let's get a stop. Come on, somebody get in the backfield. Ah, flats wide open and they're able to get out of bounds. I want to see y'all be great now. Be great. Get an interception right here. Ben, don't break defense. We need it. There you go. Kyle is moving. Somebody come up and get the sack. Somebody come up and get the sack. There you go. Meet him halfway to Mario. Ah, you almost got drugged. I like to think the ball is going to James Conner up the middle. So, Davis, I need you to hurry up, get up the middle. There, yeah, look, well, I told you, up the middle. They don't ever listen to the head coach, but I know what I'm talking about. I watch tape nonstop religiously. They moving. 30 seconds left. Can we get, ah, uh, sack. Okay, second 18, we moved up, but didn't get any points out of it. So we're going to the half down 10. Let's see what can happen. Went for it on four down, we gave it up. Yeah, Marshall Lattimore is not getting his goal unless they somehow pass on 100 yards, which I doubt. But we're losing this game 27, so now the focus becomes on can we win the game? I need the offense to show a little backbone here. Let's move this rock. Nah, punting it ain't gonna be it. Four is up, baby. Four is up. Let's move this rock. Let's get back into this game. Second and one. There we go. There you go, MT. Ah, as soon as I start praising something, that happens. Okay, Traquan Smith wants to still get a dub. Michael Thomas still want to get a dub. Let's move this rock. First and goal, can we get in the crib? You never want to stall out on goal territory. Third and goal, thrown away, fourth and goal. Why are we going for the field goal, man? We down, well, now we down 10, but we down way more than that. All right, well, we need defense to get, defense got to stop. We got six minutes to go. Okay, big pass play there. If they can get on our side of the field, I think we go in and watch. Second and 10, eight yard pass, third and two, seven yard pass. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they moving. Them boys is driving, third and one. Incomplete fourth and inches. Please tell me y'all going for it. They going for the field goal. Well, can we at least get it then? Like he missed. Not only did he go for it, but we missed the uh, the field goal as well. So I mean, we could have at least been within seven and needed one more stop. But third and ten here. They kick a field goal, and basically, unless we can score quick, this game is all but over. Big fast play there for 10 yards. We're under the two-minute warning on fourth and five. Seven-yard pass. Six-yard rush. But I think, yeah, this is going to be our first loss of the season. Unfortunately, no X Factor and no good game for nobody. Game that was looking kind of good, kind of close. Ends up in a defeating L here, 23 to 10. Garland, 32 for 45, 25, a touchdown interception. I'm pretty impressed with that game. Uh, I mean, it wasn't enough uh, from the defensive side. 179 touchdown uh, interception. I wish we had scored more. Almost no running game to see to hear of. Alvin Kamar, 8 for 18. Uh, at least Garland was able to rush for 41 at the quarterback spot, but we gave up a touchdown to James Conner. Michael Thomas finally showing up. Look at this. 10 and 11, uh, 11 and 10 completions, but nobody over 100 yards. Shows me not a very efficient day passing. Like, we were doing a lot of short passes, a lot of just, like, here, you open passes. Nothing deep down the field, nothing to get some yards for real. Uh, and if we look at the defense, let me just go to my team real quick. Two sacks here for Davenport. Half for some of our DBs and a pick for CJ. But Marshawn Lattimore, only five tackles, none for a loss. No sacks, no picks, uh, not even no pass deflections, no fumbles. Goal failed. That's not the game I wanted to have coach. Elite defenders impact the game. The intercept passes, forced fumble, sack the quarterback. I didn't do enough for that today. So what does that say about me? It says just keep trying, man. You are a good player. You just didn't get three interceptions today. Like that is really kind of unrealistic to ask for. How many DBs gonna got three interceptions in one game? Let me know. Come on now. Especially the ones that you consider X Factor already. How many of them have three interception games? Let me know. And then we can talk about that goal. But we didn't come away with the win here. Let's see what happens next week against Minnesota. Let's at least try to get through uh, week five or week four with uh, Carolina. And here before we do go into the box score, we can see kind of what the uh, mock draft looks like. It looks like, look at this, three of the top four quarterbacks or three of the top five picks 
are going to be the quarterbacks that are our top five. Daniel Clifton, uh, Greg Maller, and Tim Doyle. Uh, some of the other quarterbacks kind of slip farther back. We see Tim Skoll and Joe Taylor back at seven and eight. Our pick, uh, where is they giving us the 19th pick still at, with the one and one record? They got us getting left in Harold Simpson, which I mean, I'm I'm not mad at. I'll have to put this dude on my um on my other watch list to see if that's somebody like I can actually see myself drafting. But now that we kind of got that out of the way, I don't think I got a second uh first round pick. It's like all five of them quarterbacks projected to go in the first round though, and top ten picks. So that's gonna be scary. Uh if we do bad, we'll be in position to get one. If we don't, I don't know. But let's get to the box score. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. We came back with a dominating dub here. 42-14. Look at that. Every quarter except the third, we were scoring two touchdowns at least. Minnesota was not ready. 213 and three touchdowns for Josh Garland. The rookie showed out, balled out today. And we held Kirk Cousins to almost nothing because he's not really a starter for real. No, nah, I'm just playing. If you a Kirk Cousins fan, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but Kirk Cousins ain't one. One of the two rushing yards for Alba Kamara and a touchdown. Garland rushed for one. Murray rushed for one. We gave two to Cook, and that was their only two points. Deontay yeah, Harris caught two touchdown passes for 76 yards. It's like he's once again back to being the focal point of the offense as far as the pass game goes. And then defensively, I'm proud of him. The last game looked kind of shaky, and this game we was able to come away and go ahead and shut down Minnesota. Malcolm Jenkins getting the interception and bounce back with a dominating 42-14 dub. Coach. We're approaching the end of the first quarter season. What more do you need out of Josh Garland? Uh, I would just say build chemistry because, I mean, he's played great. I don't need him to carry the team. Uh, just build some chemistry. We just want him to be himself and continue doing what? Doing his part to build chemistry and keep our offense rolling. The better the chemistry we have, the easier it'll be for everyone to make plays. Couldn't agree more. Now they want me to score four-plus offensive touchdowns against the Panthers? Of course, you can't have one good game without having a bad game, can you? 18 points in that fourth quarter, defensive meltdown at the end, and we come away with the loss 38 to 31. I'm sure Garland hopefully played, yeah, 233, three touchdowns and a pick again. Got sacked four times, so we got to fix the offensive line a little bit. At least we got the cam four times, but like I said, when you're giving up 18 points in that fourth quarter and 135 yards to CMC on the ground, oh my goodness. We got to fix this rush, this rush defense because it's obviously not working. 95 yards still for Alvin Kamara, but uh, 7 for 112 and a touchdown for MT. We gave up 112 to DJ Moore. Like I said, we just got to fix some things on our defense. Stop giving up so many points, especially late in the game, and we'll be all right. We will give just give him a quick shout out. Though. I mean, we, like I said, we got to the quarterback a lot. So, Bavenport 2 on your modern Roach each with 1, but 18 points in that fourth quarter is unforgivable we cannot be giving up that many points we cannot be letting that happen when we're trying to be where we still want to be a playoff team like i know i said our goal is seven wins but i still want to be competitive and be a playoff team right now that could still happen as we are tied with tampa bay for second place at two and two carolina looks like we the best team in our division at least at three and one and the falcons are one and three so when we come back out next time uh, we will definitely be at least getting through a bye week We'll probably watch Carolina the second time around, seeing as they just put on that butt whooping, and they seem to be the team to beat. So we'll watch that game, get through the bye week, get some of these uh, negotiations ready and popping. But that's going to be all for this video, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the content, loving the series, and can't wait for the next episode, man. The rebuild is really kicking off. I told y'all, now it's about to start getting hard. We got to either decide whether we want to rock with this rookie quarterback and let him see some growing pains and see if this is worth it. I mean, three touches in the last two games. That loss definitely isn't on him. That loss is not on him. The first game or the first loss maybe is on him, but this one at at the very least is not on him at all. I mean, if you take away the fourth quarter points, we're at 21, they're at 20. We win the game by one point. So defense let go of that one. Gotta fix some things on that side of the ball, defensive coordinator. And we gotta hope that we bounce back. If you look at some of our ratings here, seventh best offense, we're just gonna say like seventh best offense is talking some points per game. 16th best defense. That pass defense is great. That rush defense needs to pick it up. Linebackers and defensive tackles. That's where it falls through. And a little bit on the strong safety, but mine's more so in zone coverage. Let me know what you guys think. Anything that I can do to improve the series. And let me know what you guys are thinking about the next episode. Are we going to bounce back and get a dub? And leave your score predictions down below. So, it's been your boy, Shot Too Smooth, aka Black Okage, aka Black Star, aka King Leo, aka Coach Smooth. And I got some things to fix. Catch you guys in the next episode. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>